But what I love about this game is that the difficulty itself, when it increases, it doesn't necessarily mean that your, got, that your opponent's aim gets better. Like, that's what I hate, you know, in veteran of Call of Duty 4. You know, yeah, there's a few more guys to deal with, but more than anything, it's like they give every soldier perfect aim. Well, the soldiers maintain the same level of aim throughout the game. But what they do is like this. So you're in North Korea fighting, right? In Delta difficulty, the North Koreans speak North Korean. Whoa. So I like imagine that. it. That's awesome. Yeah, imagine it. So like when you're playing in normal difficulty, they speak English. So they'll be like, I'm gonna go around this this, you know, hut and get him. Well, <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna fucking wait for you then and blow your ass away when you come around the corner. But if he says, I'm gonna go then you're like what? Uh, and then all of a sudden you're get getting stabbed down. in the back, <laughs> yeah. you know? Like, that's awesome. There's no crosshair in that mode. It's very similar to that mode in Call of Duty 4 um, that Suma was kind of explaining it to me. I think it's Team Hardcore, where Hardcore, you know, yeah. it, it doesn't have the HUDs and stuff like that. And that's cool. I, I kind of I think like that concept in gaming is, is, is interesting because if you really want to experience that way, which would probably be a much more immersive experience, then playing through normally, it's a big deal. And so I've got to give those guys props for it. You know, will how long will it take me to get through Crisis? I have no idea. But I feel like I have gone far enough that I've seen things that I didn't even know about the game. So the story has me going, hmm, a little bit. I will say that the story, did you get to the, the first monster encounter? Um, if I think... I. I'm pretty sure, yes. Yeah, the first tripod, right. I mean, it, all of a sudden, when that scene happens, which is fairly quickly in the game, I was hooked. I was like, damn, I got to see where this is going. Exactly, exactly. Because at first it just seems like, oh, I'm a badass in a suit. I'm invading North Korea. Sweet, you know. But then it, like, takes a turn, and uh, it's a pretty interesting game. Anyway, guys, I know many of you have been, been saying, you know, talk about Crisis. I want to hear it. I just want to say, first impressions, I'm fairly impressed. Uh, I like what I saw. Um, and I look forward to playing through the entire, uh, you know, game of Crisis. Um, but Force, are you are you planning on getting through this whole thing? Through Crisis? Oh, yeah. Over this four-day weekend, I'm hoping I can get some time to it. See, now, I, and I'm going to be honest with you, Force, and, and with the rest of you guys, is that I, I am going to score the graphics based off of just what I played this weekend. Because, you know, again, it's not fair for me to judge the graphics based off of my laptop. But now I've seen how this game can run at its best. And uh, it is the best looking thing out there, like hands down. Especially when you consider the scope and the scale of what you can see and what happens. Still not a big fan of the jungles. I don't know what you think about that force, but that's just a, yeah, like I, I, You know me, I was always in love with Far Cry while you guys were hating on it. Yeah, yeah. So you were, this is like right up your this alley. This is like a super dope Far Cry. It's the perfect sequel, in my opinion, yeah. if you like that one. So also, Assassin's Creed, uh, I spent a lot of time with that this weekend. And guys, um, I'm mixed about it. You know, you're not going to get a full review until probably next week. But, um, you know, I didn't really have crashes or the frame rate issues that a lot of these people are talking about. Although I hear that the frame rate issues become more abundant, you know, later on because it is rendering out entire massive cities. Um, one thing I want to warn about Assassin's Creed is that, guys, it is Grand Theft Auto. You know, in, mm. in a lot in in style and in in form. Circa twelve hundred. I mean, do you agree, Force? You, you know, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have gone that far because I think Grand Theft Auto is much much more open. I think it's, okay. but you could say it's Grand Theft Auto meets Prince of Persia. You know, a lot yeah. of, a lot of acrobatics and a lot of mini missions. A lot, a lot of mini missions. And what are the mini missions like? I want to know. Well, Force, you've played more than I have. I mean, I could give it from my perspective, but you've pro I think you sort of summed it up pretty good to me. Explain, like, to camera here as a first look, like, what a mission would entail. Uh, there's, there's basically, like, four major types of mission. One mission is you sit down on a bench and you overhear a conversation. That's eavesdropping. Another one has you, you have to trail someone behind them and then pickpocket them and steal something from them. Another one has you, you have to follow a guy till he's in a secluded area, and then you can beat him up and, and right. force Get the information him out of him. And all of them are, all of them are very basic, and they get repeated quite a lot. A bit. Now, let, before you go on, Force, because ultimately it leads to an assassination, right? It Bef does. Before you go on, how different do you feel that is from drive to this location, drive to this location? 
you know, I mean, when when we're putting it that way, you know, it's it's pretty damn simple. You know, like I, just, I mean, <laughs> Grand Theft Auto had a million things to do, as opposed to this has five things to do. Do you uh, really? Do you really think? Well, I mean, it's a more complicated but world does in the Grand future. Grand Theft Auto did it really have that many things? Well, you know, you had shooting, running businesses, getting outfits, visiting stores, racing mini cars. You right. Know, doing okay. Both. But I mean, the out. actual missions, the actual story missions themselves. Most missions were go to point A, pick this up. Bring I mean, it back, I, or go to point A, kill this guy. But you're back. right. I mean, and giving Grand Theft Auto its just due, it did. You know, it 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 felt like, um, you know, it felt like it mixed it up a lot. So yeah, you could move on with the stories, or like you said, you could go buy some clothes. You know, just go wreak havoc. And uh, I, I, yeah, I, I, I've, I've sort of hit the repetitiveness, but I am worried that it's going to be pretty uh, abundant in this title playing through. So it's overwhelming. The game is overwhelming to me, knowing all the great titles that are coming out and seeing what you have to unlock and what's in front of you. Like, you, I really felt like this was a story-based game at first because that's what the first hour and a half gives to you. And then all of a sudden it's like, have fun in, out in that world, buddy. And you're Prepare slowly... to spend one hour you're doing just like, viewpoints before you get to anything. Yeah, exactly. Then you're like, holy shit balls. I just walked into, like, the universe. You know, I have a question, huge. guys. Yeah, what's up? So during lunch, you, you mentioned how this type of game isn't always, like, your type of game. Just yeah. because you like to kind of go through and play a lot of different games. And, and I, I, I want to know, like, do you guys think that maybe... The, the developers maybe mistargeted the, the audience for this. Like, it, it was kind of hyped uh, as a, a mass question. market. And really, like, is this more of a game for just, you know, uh, a certain percentage of the market? I mean, Force, is this your type of game? I mean, for me, this definitely seems like my type of game. Oh, I think this is your type of game, dude. I don't know if this is anyone else's type of game. You know what I mean? Like, well, you know, here, here's the thing, though. Marcus made a comparison to Grand Theft Auto. That's the biggest freaking franchise next to Madden. Yeah, absolutely. Uh -oh. And now, I mean, so gotta, it's a lot of people's games, no doubt about it. But, but for me, Cameron, just to, just to like elaborate is that, um, you know, I would play this type of game. And I mentioned to you at lunch, I said, if I was 15 years old, I would be shitting my pants right, to get right. this game. Because as a 15 year old, I have all the time in the world to get one game. Like if you have a one game allowance a month, this then the Assassin's game. Creed right. is gonna be awesome because there is so much crap for you to do. Collecting flags, doing all the missions, going to all the, you know, the eagle points, like all of these things, there's a lot of stuff to do. Okay. And no, this isn't the official review of Assassin's yeah, Creed. It's, like it's a simply preview. a first look. But, you know, ha now knowing that sitting on my desk right now is Cooking Mama 2, Umbrella Chronicles, right. Mass Effect, Uncharted, I can't dedicate the time. Now, I'm going to go through and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hope that the story continues to, you know, to pull me more and more into Assassin's Creed. But there is a certain level of, like, almost feeling overwhelmed. And it, I, I make my best comparison is, like, I crossed this finish line when Final Fantasy VII came out, mm. okay? In Final Fantasy VII, there was so much to do. And I had no other goal than to get 100% in Final Fantasy VII. I can no longer do that. I don't have the time. Don't, yeah. I don't have... No luxury. You then. know, I do not have that luxury. And so when now people like Force was mentioning to me today, you know, hey, people are saying that Uncharted is only eight hours. I'm like, yeah, yes. Sweet. You know, that means I'm going to be able to play it, enjoy it, beat it, and it's going to be done. So, you know, Force, I, I, I feel like this is your type of game. And I know when we get the ultimate review, we're going to hear the, you know, the, the overall and the final thoughts on it. But I also feel like maybe they did lack a little bit of variety, which ultimately may make you shy away from it more than you normally would, right? You know, the length, because the, the actual length of the game is about 15 hours. So length does not, that doesn't, that okay. doesn't bother me. That doesn't scare me. But, you know, I'm feeling that if I find myself doing the same thing over and over within the next two hours of gameplay, that it might... I then might that, that 15 hour turns into a grind. It's, yep. it, it's like killing level three rats in World of Warcraft. All of a sudden it becomes a job, not fun.